guys, it's me TJ again. I'm going to be showing you how to make a pinwheel out of this recycle bottle. So what you'll need is wire, a plastic bottle, screwdriver, cutter, just be careful when you're doing this, you may need a pair to help you with it, some pliers, and some glue. Okay, step one is you're going to have to have drill in a hole to the middle of the lid so you can see a circle right there make sure because that's where you're going to put the wire through for the pigeon hole. step two you're going to have you're going to need a cutter it's really sharp so you're going to need a partner to help you with this you're going to want to cut a small like this small line just across here like that so this this the bottom part will come off make sure it's like that away from each other that far away from each other i found out drawing a line before cutting it makes it easier for you to cut it so it'll be a straight line and approximately it's like two centimeters away from the end where's the noise so I've started to cut it slowly, just on the line, so you can get it past that part. Oh, so you start. So I've already finished. So you're gonna want, want to put your cutter away. So this is what you want your step to look like. There's a hole through here, put that, you can, you're going to want to put that inside later. So right now, we're going to need it again. So you're going to want to make six cuts just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. These will be the propellers for your pinwheel. At this part, I decided to use scissors for this one. So as we see here, I have drawn some lines on here. To make it straight. So what you're going to do is just slowly cut it. Okay. Cut the other one. You also may need the print to help you with the cutting as well. Once it's done, you it's going to have to look like this. So if, what you're going to do next is fold it. And put it at a 40, 45 degree angle. So it's put it pr pretty much like that. And you're going to want to point it like that. Cool. So once you're done folding it, it should look like this. Like a flower. The reason why I've put it on an angle, so the wind can push it like that. If you're going to make it straight, it's just going to make it just go backwards. That's why you're going to want to make it go like that, so it'll make it spin. Remember the time when remember when I cut the bottom part off? Now this is where we're gonna use it. You see I just did a bit of zigzag just for fun, so you're gonna wanna slowly put it inside. Just push it inside there. And then once you've done it like that, you're gonna want it to leave it like that. But before you put it in before you might think it's done. But you're gonna want to make a hole in the middle of it so that's that's so that's where you can put your wire. So I've got another well, bottle for the base of the pinwheel, so that's why we're just cut, slowly cutting it. Let's cut the top part again. That would just be the, um, just the main bit that you need. You don't only need this, so you might just want to put it away. This is the main part we're going to need. Okay. So once, if you come over here, we have these chopsticks. I'll just be get some more. So now we've come over here. I've got four chopsticks. So what you're gonna want to do is pretty much pinch a hole through here. Now we've come over here. So I have four chopsticks. What you're gonna do with this is stick them like this to the bottom for the base. So you can stick it to the ground, to the dirt. Like that. Just pretty much glue it. You guys know what I mean. So what you're gonna do is just put some glue on this side. Just a few drops because this is like a liquid glue. 
And it's not the actual glue you actually find from the normal store. It's liquid, so that's why you're spinning it around. So what you're going to want to do, make a straight line. Drops. Once you've done, put the glue on, you just want to put a stick there, leave it there for rest for a couple of hours, maybe one to two, then it'll be stuck there the next day. We'll do the rest later on, when we get to the main part. Now that the glue has dried up, you're going to want to put a hole through the sprite in the middle, so you, you can stick it there, and then this is where this is where we're going to stick the wire to. Make it like an L shape. We'll go through here and here. And we'll hold it there and just glue it there. And then that will be a pinwheel. So now we're just going to slowly want to trim the edges, like I just did here. So we'll just trim it. Make sure, because you don't want to hurt anyone with this. So just cut off the sharp bits like that. But you can also leave it if you like, but I just did it for safety. Now that we've trimmed it, kind of, we're going to now color it by painting it, spray painting it. So we have some paint here, blue and pink, we're going to color it blue and pink so there's a pattern for it to look nice. Right again. So, on the side, still, so, once you're going to want to spray paint it just a little, I did pattern pink and blue like I guys told you earlier. Slowly paint it. Make sure you stay away. And I just, just, I did just leave a little white, just to leave a little pattern for it to show so that we did make it out of white plastic. I know, tea day. Got it. Now that it's almost dry, you're gonna want to leave it there to dry. And then now, once you've done this, we added a stick through here. So then this is where we're going to um, spin the wire around like that and then hook it through the inside and um, hook it through the inside from the back here and then like pretty pretty much tie it there and pretty much there's your pinwheel and that's going to be done. Now that we've put on the wire, you're gonna, what we're going to do is tape it, see? Put on the wire, I'm gonna tape it like right there. Oh, what the? yeah. And then it's done. And if you know, come up here, I blow it. I try to take it off, but this will be what it's like on the stand. That now that it's been blown, it's already finished. So that's your pinwheel by TJ.